All right, guys, so finishing up working on these seven inch extensions, six to seven inch, I actually have to figure that out. Um, got a couple tests printed here. One, two, three. We've test printed a couple different versions of it. I had to get the spot correct for to go around the tubes, weld the circle just to go around the axle so I didn't have to pull it for now. <clears throat> got some holes in the back here because it's going to be off plate steel. So this is doubled up, so this allows me to weld it in the back. It stays away from the contact area for the axle. It doubles up the contact area for the axle to allow it to not rotate. Um, and then just a single quarter inch there. Nothing too crazy, but just getting it all right. Uh, adding the front forks caused the bike to kind of sit like this, kind of ass down. Um, so I've incorporated the lift needed to level the bike out perfectly to get the rake back again correct. So, but yeah, this is what the part looks like now. I took a couple of test prints to get the brake caliper mount correct, but now I have all that correct. This will weld on here, all the way through here on the back. Then I'm going to weld it on the inside of the frame as well on all the areas as well where the factory axle goes and uh, it should be pl plenty strong i mean it's just eighth eighth inch plate steel there now we're going to be using quarter to make the extension so it should carry the load fine but yeah just some more into this project as it's wrapping up um, i'm going to send this off to the laser get this cut weld it on i'll take some videos of that but just some insight of what goes on you know everybody always sees the ends of these builds but never necessarily what goes into them so yes i designed this on cad first um 3d printed it test fitted it made some so you can see three different versions at least right there um, i have one in the printer now which hopefully should be good may not be might need to make some more tweaks but i'll tweak it until it's ready then we'll get it welded then we'll get it on the bike aligned and i'll try to video some of that and see if i can basically get this whole you know process documented and you guys can see what goes into it and you know kind of behind the scenes of what i'm doing to to get the bike to turn out the way it is so it may not be what you're interested in but you know this is what i'm doing the bike in factory form could do wheelies very easily um, i'm gonna be running upwards to 10 to 12 thousand watts now so with the extra power, I just want to be able to keep the front wheel under control and, and, you know, make the bike a little bit more fun for me. So that's why I set off to do this, adding the, now it'll be a half inch worth of steel for the axle to stay secure in. And then I was very, very precise with this measurement here to make sure that when the axle goes in, it's going to be very strong and it's not going to be able to bend this half inch steel. So I don't have to worry about the axle rotating and spitting out. All right, checking out these parts that I custom made in CAD. Oh yeah, that looks sick. These are nice. They did a really, really great job. <laughs> 